So I tried streaming yesterday, and Unreal Game Sync was getting an error when trying to compile uh, the game, I suppose. We were getting uh, this error message uh, where it's like unhandled exception, stuff like that. Uh, so I was able to fix it, luckily, thank God. Um, at first, I thought I had to make a new directory, make you know, reinstall the engine and everything like that. So I had I made a new directory and everything, and I don't think we need it anymore. I was able to fix it with our original directory by just recompiling the engine again and then recompiling the project again. Uh, and then once the project could open, I just refreshed the Visual Studio projects. So I just went down to here, refresh Visual Studio project, and uh, I was able to double click on that change list on Unreal Game Sync, and it didn't need to compile anymore, and it just opened. So I'm hoping that's it. So during that time on our live stream, uh, we investigated just a little bit about what we wanted to do, because uh, the last time we left off, which was a long time ago, when <laughs> when when it comes to the actual project, um, we wanted to uh, control how high the player could jump uh, based on an attribute like a multiplier. Um, but maybe, do we want to have like a jump height value? Um, yeah, we probably want to have an, like a unique attribute for that. So let's make a new attribute, player attributes. Um, also, I made the text a little bigger, so hopefully you guys can see that. So that's attributes.cpp and um, we'll do that. Um, so we have the player jump height multiplier. So we, we could just literally copy and paste that. Uh, player jump height. I think we will, we'll want to clamp it since we'll have a multiplier. So we'll just copy and paste this too. Um, and we're going to do uh, player jump height. So get something like that. And uh, we're going to clamp it to, because this value is going to be like potentially like 600 or 1,000 or something like that. So we'll just clamp it to 2,000. Uh, we'll never want it to be zero. Ah, uh, no, we could want to make it zero. Maybe if you want to disable height. So we'll let zero be a thing. I think we also have to go into our character, if I remember right. I don't think, maybe in dot h as well. Let's see what we have. Yeah, we have, yeah. These functions. Uh, we're gonna need, uh, we'll call it get player jump height attribute. Is that what others say? No. We could just say that. And then we gotta go into the CPP. Actually make the function, yeah? So let's hope. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. Intelligence takes a second. Go to definition. Boom. Um, where is it? Here we go. So we could just do something similar to this. And then we could just do get jump height. And I think that's all we have to do. Is there anything we have to do in the player state? Uh, that's the good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we actually have a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, for, hmm. Okay, dot H. So it looks like we didn't even add the height multipliers from before, so. I guess we can just copy and paste this stuff. Uh, hero, player state. And these are u functions, so we can just copy the u function. 
And then uh, float. Um, it was in the character, right? Uh, so get jump height multiplier. Const. Okay. And we don't need to have that all copy and pasted. Which, so we got. What's wrong here? Um. Okay, that error went away. Okay, so we got jump height, and then we got to do the actual jump height. Uh, I want the actual jump height for it, just for organizational purposes. Um, and then we had the air control, which I don't know if we even want to do, but let's just keep going for consistency's sake. Okay. I don't know why the jump height's the only one with uh, IntelliSense. Okay, there we go. So let's create these functions. Okay, and then boom. Boop, 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 boop. Definitely taking its time. Thank you. Okay. So now these literally just return attribute base and then the, the corresponding value. So attribute set base. IntelliSense, please hurry up. Get jump height. Okay, this next one is multiplier return attribute set base. Get jump um, height multiplier. Same thing here, air control, air set base. Um, get player air control multiplier. Okay, so I think that's all I have to do. Now I guess we can go back to editor and let's see if we can do a hot compile. I think if this goes into the output log. Yeah. So hot reload. <laughs> Crap. So it gives me that same error. Oh, no, I thought I was out of this. Um, single file compile. Like, is it because, like, I know one of the things that I did do was I installed, uh, like, the Unreal, uh, Visual Studio plugin or whatever you'd call it. Oh, so maybe that's the problem. So I'm not sure what is causing it. 
but you know, hero, hero, you know, all of that is good. <sighs> this breaks my heart every time. <laughs> I thought we were done. But maybe I should have checked this part. Let's just see. I think I don't don't think it's gonna be able to write project files while I have the editor open. So I guess we gotta close it. This might be a stream that I can't continue because I'm going to be bored. And you're going to be bored because I'm going to be trying to fix this error. Ah. Come on. Like, is it this a problem? <laughs> Let's see if this error is known. Uh. System. Okay, I don't know what it's doing. Let's refresh again. Unless that's all it does after, like, should it tell you that it's done? I don't know if there's more to it. <laughs> um, is Unreal Game Sync? Try to recompile anything. No. Yeah, that opens. Um. Maybe I have to be in development. Oh, of course it needs to build. No. Can I go back? <laughs> yes, okay. Um Okay, like if I literally just like F five will it just compile what I changed? And I don't really have to worry about how to recompile right now. Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe. Okay. Okay, so we can at least continue to work, but I gotta figure out this recomp hot recompile problem later. Okay, so now um, we should, um, it's under gameplay effects and then default, we can set up those new parameters. So we have movement speed, movement speed multiplier, and jump height multiplier. And jump height multiplier is five currently. Uh, we can add the other ones. Uh, so jump height, uh, you got to override, and um, we'll do uh, a thousand. And then uh, air control, 
Uh, we'll just put for one for now. And I think this will literally not make a difference, but we'll see. Yeah, see, it doesn't really do anything. So that's the next thing we gotta figure out. Um, and I believe this is in our movement component. I think we can literally, uh, is there like, uh, we gotta wait for IntelliSense, but hit jump. So that's max jump height. And we're calculating jump height here, but that doesn't really do anything. So let's just do a jump uh, Z velocity. Let's see, let's just make this like a literal like hardcore value and let's just see if it makes a difference. Yeah, it has to be a float. Okay. Let's compile again. And we should jump really high, if I'm not mistaken. If Yes, <laughs> okay, bye. Um, so now what we should be able to do, um, I don't know if we want to make this as our own function or not. Maybe. Uh, we could just do void. Void uh, set new jump z velocity. Um, and we could take uh, current jump z velocity. I think that's fine. But why is it giving it? F is not defined? What the hell? <laughs> I guess there we go. We'll make a definition for that. Now what we want to do is pretty much this. So if we have the player, and then we can just get the height multiplier. And then we can also do uh, float jump height equals owning player player jump height. And then we can just do uh, jump. Uh, we don't need to take in the current jump. Um, uh, yeah, we, we can just do that as a safety measure. So we could just do uh, jump z velocity equals player. Uh, no, it's just called jump height. Uh, jump height times player, uh, just jump height multiplier. So that should be enough. And then we could just do an else. Um, and then we could just do, uh, Jump C equals current jump C. We could just do something like that. And then in here, we can literally just do, we pass in this, and we, what did I name the function? Set new jump C. Okay, That should be legit. Um, and if it works, I don't think we'll need to get through this or this. Okay. 
So let's try. Okay, so it compiled, so that's good. Uh, I should really print it as well, <laughs> but let's just see. Okay, so I'm literally just barely jumping. So what does that mean? Um, I mean, it works. So gameplay effects, default, initialization. So air control multiplier. So jump height is set to a thousand. So. Um, I keep opening the wrong things. Visual Studio. Okay. Does this get, when does this get called? Let's find out. Should get called as soon as like, I play. Yeah. Okay. So these are just returning zero. Okay. Um, where is our game? Um, I guess we could just do continue, right? Okay. So these functions are returning zero. Uh, so we'll have to see. Jump height multiplier. Okay, so it's returning itself. Okay, so that's the problem. Whoops. Wait. So state. So this is player jump height, right? Multiplier. Why is this wrong? Um, okay, let's assume component this component thing here is fine. So we got our player state. We have get player jump height, get player jump height multiplier, get movement speed, all that good stuff. But in here, call of an object of a class type without an appropriate operator or conversion. So I want to call this one. Where am I? Okay, so we're in our character, right? So call this. And then we get here. And then where's movement speed go? So get player movement speed call is good. Get player movement speed multiplier. That's a call from attributes, right? 
So I should have to just call get player. Um, some character. Not in here. Get player jump height multiplier. This seems like it's a problem because it. Screw the dot H's right now, right? So player movement speed in the player state brings me to the attributes, right? But the jump height brings me back to the hero state. Um, so something is not right here. Um, Um, get player jump height. Is it the attribute? No. I think because I, I, all right, I, I, it's just because of my naming, I think. Um, I gotta use the bathroom, I'll be back.
All right, so we gotta change these names because um, they're literally the same. So hero dot h. Um, um, so I guess yeah, we could just change these. Um, so let's just change these two. Uh, get jump height, get jump height multiplier, get error control multiplier, and then in here, we can just call this get, 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 and then, Um, and so then these call get player jump height, and then in the attributes. So this is in player state actually. So we need the CPP, no, the dot H. So player state dot H. So get move speed. So we could just change these also to get that. And then in there, we can just change this to uh, these are all get, right? Yeah. Okay. Oops. So now, yes. Yes. And yeah, okay. So that's good. Uh, we can compile again. And of course, no. <laughs> Let's see where. So we don't need that. Where did that go? Error list, right? So player jump height multiply. Okay, so that's wrong. Okay, for now, uh, I think we just need to do that. Okay, let's just. Get the entire IntelliSense going. Get jump height multiplier. And we can just, uh, oh yeah, we gotta do everything. Get jump height. Okay, so I think that's better. Basically, the point is like we need to jump, but like it should be a pretty high jump. Okay. What's wrong? Oh, it's a break point. <laughs> I was like, what just broke? We don't need that. Continue. All right, so still not jumping high. Awesome. <laughs> Why? Um, so let's do that. And then we can just play. Okay. So step over. Step, I think we gotta do a step into. Okay. So it's not valid. Why? Um, 
guess is it a character movement component? Okay, maybe we gotta initialize the character movement component afterwards. Um, where's, where's our character? So unpossessed. Um, that's probably the problem. Can I, um, let's comment this part out for now and put it into possessed. So now it should be okay. If this compiles, I should main. Um, do I have any breakpoints? I don't think so. Let's compile, let's see if that works. Let's see. Still no. What the hell? Um, does the other ability work? For some reason, it always like freezes for a moment when I use that ability. So we still can do that. So that still works. Um, So what is wrong? Something is not initialized when it's sh I'm hoping it would be. So get jump height with multiplier. Okay. Still null. Um, so go to our character, we can take that out. Um, and comment that. Um, Maybe I can do it like on possessed. And then I, I don't know. Can we just do like a character? What's our thing called? Is a character moving component? Yeah, just moving component. Okay. Um. I guess I could just do get movement component. Do I have to cast that? Because I have like the set jump Z thing. Um, okay. I guess I have to do something similar again. So, um, let's take out this, then I think we can move this into our possessed. Like that, and then we can call movement component set jump, news jump Z, and then we can pass in movement component Okay. And then it just 
jump Z velocity. Can that work? And again, we're expecting to be able to jump. <laughs> Do we have any breakpoints anywhere? Uh, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. So then now, gameplay effects, default. So jump height multiplier is five. Let's set this to one. Let's just see if we are jumping stupid high. Nice. Okay. And uh, our default jump height will make it 600. Okay, so we're back to normal. So that's pretty much what we expect, which is good. Um, I guess we can see where we can do air control next. Um, and then we can worry about how many times we can jump. But let's not worry about that just yet. Um, let's just do air control. So let's make some comments though. Initialize. Okay, we don't need to do get max height anymore or get jump height anymore, I don't think. So let's uh, clean that out. Okay, that's so uh, jump Z velocity parameter based on attribute values. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, what else? Um, air control, right? Um, might need a new function for that. Um, Uh, void set new air control float uh, current air control and that should be okay once it does its own thing <laughs> intelligence I should say Okay, since did its thing. Let's go here. Um, all right, let's just compile real quick. This, let's make sure it does, because I want to look at the character movement component in the editor just to see what the air control parameter looks like. Um, character. Dun, 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 dun. I'm also curious. Um, if I set a jump Z velocity here, will it just get overwritten? Let's make it zero. So air control. Okay, so it's not really a multiplier. There is the air control boost multiplier, but. So maybe we should rename it, but there is it. So full control is one. Okay, so we got to clamp it too. So from zero to one. So let's just see if I set my jump zero and it still gets overridden. So that's good. So we don't really want it overridden. 
So let's go into our code. And we can do similar things here. Just copy that. Okay, so now we have our set new uh, air control function that we copied and pasted the logic into. So we don't need many of this. So we could just do float uh, air control equals uh, owning player uh, get air control. And yeah, we're going to have to change this name. Whoops. So we're just going to call it get air control. Change this name. Okay, we can just do it like that. Where are we? The character. Okay, and then we gotta go into our attributes. So we get to do player air control. And the CPP, we can clamp it between zero and one. Get player uh, air control attribute, and we can clamp it between zero and one just to be safe. And now, if we go back, everything should be okay. Get air control. That player air control, player state. Wait, these are still multipliers. So we gotta change that to that. Um, that should be good. Now, our CPP, we could just make, call that get your control. We don't need these two. And then I can, I think I can literally just add that now, right? Uh, so that's my local variable. Um, let's find the actual variable name in the character movement controller or component. Air control. Okay, so it has the same name, air control. So we'll uh, float um, air control attribute. Now we can just do air control. This should be our, the actual component one. Air control. Yes. Equals air control attribute. Boom. And if for any reason it doesn't work, we don't need this uh, error for the text, no owner. We just have our own unique text. It says, uh, well, I guess we could. It says no owner. Yeah, I think that works. Never mind. <laughs> and then we can just do air control equals current air control. Okay. Um, Now we can go to our player character. Um, yeah, and just call it here. Movement component set new air control. And now we can just set it to pass in air control. And that should be it. Let's see if we get it compile error. Okay, and it 
compile, so we're good there. So now, um, let's go to our attributes. Oh yeah, we have to re-add it. Their air control. Override. Oh, the other one's override, yeah, okay. So zero is no control. So I should not be able to move my character very much, like, you see how I'm like I'm trying to push back that direction, but I can't. Now, if I set this to one, I should uh, be able to go like this. Yeah. So I have a lot more air control, so that we know that attribute works. So we're good there. Um, so we could stop here. I, I want to spend a couple minutes <clears throat> trying to figure out. Uh, well, first, let's submit our changes. Let's get into Perforce. Mm. Do I have any other workspaces? Um, let's see, source. Uh, yes, check out, check out. I have to set up that setting again, I think, for my project for automatically checking out at least the blueprint side. Um, I should also look at how to do that for, uh, CPP files. Let me just do both of them, check out. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing there. So state, control and nothing, character, yes. Nothing in the debug module. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Um, let's open up our project. I have to look that up again. Um, let's see. Uh, UE4. Uh, save files. Okay. Oh my god, these notifications need to stop. Ah, where am I? You for save files and check out automatically. I hope that's enough. Mm hmm. Okay. Editor preferences. Loading and saving. Source control. Yes. So let's try it now. Unless I have to restart the editor. Which I hope not, but maybe. So save. Uh, no. Okay, so maybe I have to restart the editor. Okay, so opening editor, da 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 Loading and saving. Yeah. Um, oh, maybe because I'm not connected to source control. Okay. 
Let's try this again. Save. Don't show this again. Okay, let's uh we might need to do it to a different asset now. Okay. I guess we'll have to. Uh, so this doesn't even let me add it. Okay, there we go, check out. Uh, so let's try seeing if this just checked out automatically now when I save it. No. Do I have to set that setting again? Now that I connected the source control? No. Let me just do source control. Um, okay, does this document have any other information for me that I just kind of ignored? Okay, you can submit some source control as well, but I don't want to do it that way. No. Uh, project settings. Okay, that all makes sense. We have gameplay tags. Everything like that. Um. Settings, anything on source control? No. All right, let's not worry about that then. So we have we have everything checked out, right? Yeah. So we can submit. Um, added jump height plus jump height multiplier functionality. Uh, let me write the word attribute. And air control attribute functionality. Submit. Okay, and then we have it on Unreal Game Sync, I assume, in a couple seconds. There we go. Um, let's close out of Visual Studio. Let's just see. If I can sync, or if it's good, you know, not do a good thing, because <laughs> I know it's got to sync and then it's got to compile, so it probably won't compile it correctly. Uh, and if it doesn't, I really gotta look into it. Like it's not gonna do hero editor. I think this is where it fails, right? Yeah. Value cannot be null. Parameter name path. Uh, so I guess I got. Let's spend like ten minutes together. See if I can find an answer. UE four build tool does this give me anything? Did I already see this article yesterday? Ben Marsh has this fix. Yep, I did it.
regenerating the solution. How do you regenerate the solution? Um, I think the I think the problem lies here because when I open this solution, there's nothing in here. Like literally nothing. What is there anything I could do? Yeah, that doesn't really do anything. Do I have to rebuild this solution? No. <laughs> Build solution. No. Um, let's see. UE4 project LSLN empty. Maybe I have to open it that way. Um, whoops. Um, let's open up this one. I hope I don't have to rebuild the whole thing if I just hit F5. So hero, um, I do control F5. Um, I just hope, okay. <sighs> oh, it, I think it's building everything again, right? Okay, thank God. <laughs> so now let's close out of Visual Studio. Now let's wait for this to open. And then open Visual Studio. What, where does this open? Does it give me like the exact same project? Is it the... Yeah. Um. So that's where I'm confused. I have this hero solution. Um. And that doesn't do anything. Um, let's see, UE4 project solution, yeah, empty, like that, that's all. Is this anything? Um, okay. Hmm. This is where I get confused. Error system argument null. Parameter name path. Does this give me any information if I type it in that way? Or do I have to like make a question? I might have to ask Unreal Answer Hub.
So build dot version is newer. Is that a problem? This is probably not what I need. Okay. Um, let me open this. So that's hero editor. And this is this target. Are these like the same? Um, man, they're identical. Um, okay, UV4 target. Dot CS build version. Let's see. What was the name? Default build settings. So that doesn't even exist. Okay. Build setting? No. That doesn't really give me anything. Um, C sharp, is this a comment? All right, let's just take it out. In the hero editor target. Let's try again. No. So that did not make a difference. Okay. Let's open up in Sublime. Put it back. Um. Hero build.cs and then this one. Well, that's opening up in Visual Studio. Um, okay, that doesn't really help. Um, Um, let me copy this somewhere else. Just delete it. Let's just see if something breaks. Does this make a difference? So, couldn't find target rules for target hero editor. So there's build rules in here. So that's in engine. Intermediate. 
build. <laughs> build rules. Um, okay, we don't need that. Do I need this? I'm so nervous. To, to, okay, let's. Remember, we have this clean workspace thing. I know it's probably not going to work. I don't know why it doesn't work, though. And I can't, there's no good documentation on Unreal Game Sync. So I can't really find information on it. Clean files. Like, I would assume, like, pff, this would be fine to do. But, let's see. Uh, UE4, is it safe to delete intermediate folder in engine? So I guess might be like whatever it, this is, it doesn't work. So I guess I don't think you can delete the binaries. So let's, all right, let's copy, let's save this somewhere. There's a lot of stuff in the intermediate folder. Okay. That's probably not a good idea. I don't, why is it so big of a folder? Thirty gigs. Yeah, it's definitely not a good idea, I don't think, to do that. So let me just get rid of it here. Unimportant. Um, I think I just need, hmm. So what's the difference, right? There's this, target is up to date. Like, um, unhandled exception. Um, I know there's one thing, right? UE4 manually set build configuration might be what I want. Um, yeah, so engine saved bundle build tool build configuration edit. Um, doesn't really <laughs> say anything. Okay, is there any other information? It 
doesn't really help me because I don't know what is that. So that's Xbox One platform. I don't think I need that. Okay, does, is it in the app data folder, I wonder? Or is it because since I manually installed it? Let's see. Uh, C, users, Devon, app, roaming, Unreal Engine, Unreal Build. That's not, that's gross. Okay, uh, edit. So it's the same thing. So that doesn't help me anyway. Um, uh, does this give me any information? Development editor, Win64, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't help. So that's packaging. I don't really need that. Um, hmm. Any information on this one? Yeah, setting up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, So we got feedback. Uh, disabling Unity builds. Eh, maybe I could do that. So it's the roaming one that I want, I think. We'll do it in both places, I guess. Okay, and then let's get the roaming one. Users, Devon, app data, roaming, Unreal Engine, Unreal Build Tool, creation, done. Our computer has two hard drives, blah, blah, blah. Workflow and debugging. No. Yeah, that's not what I want. We gotta put a question up on the Unreal Answer Hub because I, I really don't know. Um, can, I, can I open the solution? Not the solution, the um, Hero 25, Hero Project. Does it ask me to rebuild anything? Yes. Um, Let's open up the solution. Because I want to, for the post, I'm going to put in information from both Unreal Game Sync and what the hot recompile does. Should be the same error, but might as well provide it. Uh, so that's where I'm just going to end the stream now. You guys don't need to see. I'll, I'll, put, I'll share the link to the question when I have it on the Discord. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. We'll figure this out, hopefully. Over the course of the week, I'll get some answers. Um, 
join our Discord server. The link is going to be in the description. Uh, we, I always share videos. We can talk about the gameplay ability system, any parts of Unreal that you have questions about, we can talk about. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next live stream. See ya.